Hey guys, uh, just putting together a short video uh, to show how to set up the uh, castle line of ESCs with the icon uh, and, and to get the auto rotation bailout mode working really well. Um, so first I'm going to have a look at the castle link software. Um, so after you connect it up with your uh, castle ESC, I click on the throttle tab. Uh, in the throttle tab you have uh, some vehicle type options and the one we want is external governor. Um, so once you turn on the external governor mode, um, basically what it does is it tells the ESC to turn off its own governor uh, and operate in a, in a very fast raw mode, uh, allowing the ICON system to, f to fully assume the governor functions. Uh, but you do have a couple options here. So uh, in external governor mode, um, Castle uses its own soft start. Um, in general, ESCs ha uh, that have their own soft start have an advantage over like using the soft start in say the ICON, VBAR, or whatever. Um, because the ESC can play some timing tricks to really smooth out the spool up uh, and with the throttle input from the external governor it just can't can't do the tricks. The ESC doesn't know that it's trying to do soft start uh, and so you always have some weird artifacts jerkiness as it spools up. Um, so I run all my setups in external gover governor mode uh, using the castle soft start. There are a few more options here that you can use. Um, auto rotation enable. So the this auto rotation enable button uh, turns on the, the bailout in the castle ESC, itse ESC itself. We don't want to use this. There is a way to make it work with ICON, but I generally don't use it. Um, the reason I don't use it uh, is because I really like the option to have what I call uh, idle on bailout. Uh, what that means is that the, the motor is running at a reduced RPM, say 100, 200 RPM, uh, and when you bail out, um, the motor is still running a little bit. It doesn't really actually affect the auto rotation. You still have to do the real auto. Um, but what it does is when you spool, uh, when you flip out a hold and the heli spools up quickly, uh, it has a, a lot less stress on the gear train, uh, reduces the chance of stripping gears, uh, and overall is a lot smoother. The tail kicks out a little bit less. So I, I really recommend it. Um, I really don't like spooling up from zero. So if you do a full blade stop, you spool out. It's it's really violent and uh, can strip gears. It spins a lot. So um, I, I like doing it this way. Uh, there's another option that does work with Icon, and that option is multi rotor. Um, what multi rotor does is basically completely turn off the uh, soft start uh, and just puts the ESC in a raw mode. Uh, in this mode, the Icon is going to do all the soft start. Uh, it's going to operate like a, a completely stupid ESC, uh, what most people call with other ESCs like airplane mode. Um, you know, I think YGE operates in this mode with no soft start. Um, so you know, you, if you want to do this, you can. Uh, I don't. I really like the really uh, the, the soft start built into the castle. Uh, and then uh, once you turn on external governor mode, uh, you can play with the initial spool up rate. Uh, I just typically leave it at medium. Okay, and so once you uh, select that, you just hit update and uh, you're done. I'm in demo mode here, so it's not really updating anything. Okay, uh, and I'm not going to talk about the rest of the ESC settings. Uh, that's all you really need to do to make it work with the icon. Uh, beyond that, you do need uh, a sensor. Um, if you're using the new Phoenix Edge, uh, which I am on one model, uh, it's great. It has an RPM out. Uh, and uh, you, know, you, you, you you'd select the uh, auxiliary wire mode and you say RPM out and then you basically just plug the sucker right into the icon uh, and you're ready to go. Uh, if you have one of the uh, older uh, ICE controllers you can just get the Hobbywing sensor uh, or some other uh, digital type sensor and use that. Okay so uh, that's it for the castle link. Uh, so now with the uh, icon configuration go to the governor tab here um, so uh, really, uh, in the basic menu, there isn't much to do in terms of bailout. I, this is just the normal setup stuff here. Uh, I'm not going to cover that. Uh, and then in the flight mode, um, there's really nothing here as well uh, to set up for the bailout. So let's go uh, straight to advanced. Okay, so once you go to advanced, uh, you go to the common tab here, and you go down to governor. And so let me uh, expand all these here. Okay, I'll expand it. Okay, so uh, first important thing is, of course, the min-max settings uh, for the throttle output to the ESC. Uh, so I'm running quite a few Castle controllers, and I always use these numbers, 1073, 1960. They work for me. I, 
the castle you see I think is really consistent uh, I don't I don't think it's going to change for you but uh, if you uh, want to you can of course calibrate the endpoints like you typically do for castle ESCs but um, I think you'll probably just be able to use my values um, and then uh, in terms of gains um, so uh, we're running this on electric so you want to check uh, motors electric um, what this does is this changes the gain scaling uh, I think it, it doubles it from what you would have with a nitro so uh, select motors electric and then just stick with the initial defaults uh, and then you can get into tuning it later once you're flying the model and you notice issues um, under spool up uh, the parameters we're interested in is bailout timeout and uh, bailout ramp so uh, bailout timeout um, really is I think intended to be a safety feature and what this does is um, once you hit throttle hold uh, and you're in bailout mode it starts a timer and the idea is um, when the timer expires the uh, icon goes back into a soft start mode so it won't do the, the hot start the fast ramp up so really it's a, it's a safety feature um, for me I don't really want it I just go to set it at 60 I don't use it um, the longest auto I've probably done is, I don't know, probably 40 seconds where you just uh, climb as high as you can and then do floater autos. You can get into the 40 second range. Uh, I don't know if anyone's ever done a full minute auto. Um, I, you know, <laughs> it might be possible. Um, if, you, if you could bear climbing to uh, over a thousand feet, maybe you could do it and you have an 800 size. Um, so just something to be aware of if you can really do long autos uh, and then you, you, you botch it at the end and you want to bail out. Well, if the timer expired, uh, it's just going to do a slow start. It's not going to work. So uh, keep it under 60 seconds. And then bailout ramp. Um, so this is how aggressively the helicopter um, ramps back up. And so uh, I'm finding about 60 is pretty good. The tail kicks out a little bit, but not much, especially with the technique of having an idle on bailout where it has a low RPM. Um, so I've been running it at 60. If you want a little bit softer or you're worried about stripping gears, you can drop it down. But 60 seems good, um, especially if you like doing, uh, like hitting throttle hold and different maneuvers for, you know, whatever circus trick sort of effects. Um, you kind of want it to be aggressive because you're kind of, you, know, you could be pushing it to near blade stop and then bail out. Um, so 60 seems uh, good, uh, and I've been I've been using that. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, for the uh, common setup. Uh, next is um, the setup one uh, governor. So here is where you you tell it to enable bailout for each flight setup. Um, so what I've done is on setup one I do not check uh, governor use bailout. Setup two and setup three I select governor use bailout. Now the the way I'm using it is um, I want to switch. It's the same switch that I use to select my flight setups uh, that I now use to arm the the bailout. Um, so if I do a flight where I don't want to do any kind of uh, auto rotation bailout, I leave the switch alone. Now if I do a flight where I want to use it, I flick the switch to set up. Basically, I pull it all the way down. It's a three position switch in my transmitter. Uh, I pull it all the way down, which is actually set up three. And now I know uh, auto rotation bailout is armed. Uh, and uh, anytime I flick into hold, flick back out, it's going to spool up fast. Um, and so that's pretty much it uh, for that. There's not, nothing else to do really on these tabs. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show uh, how I set up the mix on my transmitter. Uh, and then uh, in the third video, I'm going to uh, show how, I, how you test it on the model, how it should behave when it's set up correctly. Uh, and uh, that'll wrap it up. Okay, thanks a lot.